Hi and welcome to another Patrick Michael tutorial. Uh, I have been intimately involved with the internet since the mid 90s and uh, I've seen a lot of change and I've had a lot of fun. I help uh, select clients, master their online presence and um, if you wish to know more about me please pop over to my website there is a link below and you will also see links to my social media platforms and so um, yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, push the notification button to on if you like and yeah so without further ado and ramblings from me let's see what we're going to do today we are going to look at uh, configuration management for Drupal eight and nine um, and uh, what what configuration management allows us to do is to create different environments like a, a dev a staging and a production environment and then to create different configuration settings settings configuration settings for each environment um, and that makes managing your sites a lot easier so in this tutorial we are going to um, set up the development state uh, environment um, and later on i will do the staging and then the production so what are the modules that we need just we need config ignore um, and this allows us to ignore certain configuration settings. Um, for instance, if we have a content block, we can ignore that block because um, content is not shifted between uh, content is stored in the database, not in configuration. So if you have a different content in the development environment, um, you can ignore that so that it doesn't get pushed across to the production environment. Then the the main engine is config split, config split, configuration split, and that allows us to create different um, configurations for dis different environments. Um, and both of these use config filter, the module config filter. Uh, we use the module chosen, which um, that gives us a better widget for, for selecting items. Um, we use the robots.txt file, and this allows us to store um, robots in the data, the ro robots text in the database, so that we don't have to manage the text file across environments. Um, and we use environment indicator, showing a different uh, set color and name in the toolbar, so that we can easily see which environment we are in. All right. So the first thing. So this is the steps. Uh, we set up this Apache server environment. Um, and we use that with the settings file to determine settings.php to determine which environment we're in. Um, we're going to draw up a planning matrix for matrix for the configuration. We're going to firstly going to configure the config ignores. In this case, we don't have many because there's not much content. Um, and then we set up the environment detection in the settings.php, um, and we create the split directories. And then we create the configuration split for the environment, and we cr and lastly we create configuration overrides. Okay, so let's jump across to our server, and we're going to start by setting up the Apache environment. Go to our virtual domain host uh, config file, and set up an environment identifier and name it, um, and this will then. Um, we will then be able to determine what that is in settings. Um, and we will get the environment that we're in and based on the environment we're in, we will use certain settings in the Drupal environment on the settings page. Okay, so uh, we're going to set up the environment variable and uh, it, we are on our server in the home directory and we want to edit the virtual host of our development environment. Um, we are editing that config file. Uh, set environment. Uh, and we're going to call it the Drupal. DRU Drupal environment. 
environment and we're going to just call it dev okay so that should be fine let's commit that and uh, mm, let's just restart the Apache server all right so we've restarted the server and that environment should now be set okay so let's go across to our server um and we're going to add i mean not to, not to our server to our website we're going to add this to our settings um so let's pop it in here we're creating an, a variable drupal environment and um we are, if it is set, um, we're going to be setting Drupal environment to the Apache variable. If not, we setting it to dev, okay? In terms of our configuration matrix, this just gives us an idea of, um, of how we're going to set up our configuration. Um, so this is for an, a, a different site. Um, but in terms of ignoring we're ignoring the robots.txt setting um, because we're going to set that in, a, in as an environment setting so we're going to set the robots in the settings.php we're going to ignore the reset the password re reset and we're going to ignore content blocks and we're going to in, in, in ignore all of those and then in the config split you get two types you get absolute and you get conditional now absolute um, splits so if for instance here the devil model devil module in the dev environment we have wanted on but in staging production to want it off but we set it in the absolute so the entire model module is split in the dev environment i mean is on in the dev environment and off in the other environment uh, devil kent uh, which is in devil of drupal 8 it's no longer available in Drupal 9, um, but I've installed Devilkint Extras, so we're going to have to split that off as well. So the, the Devil menu is also uh, on in Dev only. Um, and in terms of performance, caching is off, and staging in, in, in production we want it on. Errors, we want all, and we only want errors and we want none. Um, and logging we want on and on and off so anyway this just will tell us exactly um, how we're going to set up our configuration uh, I don't use analytics anymore I use tag manager but it will be the same you know we don't want the fields UI and the views UI exp on in the in the staging and production so the conditional there are various conditional settings um, that will complement the absolute settings. And these are sometimes sub submodules or sub settings, um, sub configuration settings um, that we need to manipulate because we are manipulating um, the views. Um, and and main modules in the top there um, it's a little bit uh, abstract as absolute and conditional um, and really the best is just to to test it out and you'll find your way but this template is a good one to start off with and there is a link to it to downloading this template in in the comments below all right so that's the planning I'm going to just pause this uh, video for now. Um, I need to install some modules on the site. So once those are installed, I will come back to you. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. We have our modules installed. Let's go to set up some ignore settings. So what where we go there is um, under configuration um under the configuration synchronization settings there's the tab here that's been added which is now ignore so we will ignore um robots 
text.settings. Um, this will allow us to set the settings in the PHP file in the overrides. So there's no blocks for us to ignore. So we're just ignoring robots and we're ignoring uh, the user mail password reset body. And we can save that. Okay, so we have our ignores set up. So now we're going to set up the switch statement in settings. So we can copy this bit of code here. And we go across to our settings one file uh, and right at the bottom. Okay. Okay, there's a comma missing, a colon missing. So we need a colon there. Right. So that should work. All right. Now we need to create the de directories to which we're going to export the um, split configuration to. Right. Dev, product, prod, and staging. Okay. So we've created our split directories. All right. So now we want to conf create the, the split environments. Um, so the, the, the way that I managed to do this was to simulate each environment on the development server. So we're going to, in dev, um, we will s enable all the modules that we need. Um, and uh, then we will export to the, the, that configuration to the sync directory. Then we have a site that's... Uh, set up for a development environment and i think yes this this site is so let's just export drush config export and this will export it to the sync config export all right and we go yes okay so we now have um, a synchronized site Okay, so now we go to development and configuration split settings. And we're going to add a config split setting. Okay. Um, just call it dev split. Okay, and the description is... We can just call this um, okay so the folder i think is the same as on this side config environments dev yes don't need to okay so here we want uncheck this because we're going to make it active in settings so in the complete split um, it's the devil devil model and the devil kint extras okay so that's the, the items there's no items and additional configuration dot menu dot devil um, let's see if it's not there so that's good and then the conditional split system logging system performance and views settings system dot logging okay there it is system dot view system dot performance and view systems okay performance okay there it is and views views settings okay we want to include include dependent yes and split only when different we're going to untick this all right let's just save that okay so we have a dev split so now we're going to export that configuration. Here we can see Drush config split export dev split and that has been successfully exported. So we're looking good there. 
Um, all right, let's move on to our next step. And then we want to export. So let's, we need to export the sink now. And then it shows the dev split. All right, so that should be now set up. So the next step, um, we want to go to settings again and uh, set some environment uh, environment indicator. Let's just make sure that environment indicator is actually enabled. Uh, okay, we don't need the UI, so environment indicator is enabled. So reports, let's go status report, see if we're all good. Yeah, we're just getting a warning about, ro about robots text and we will sort that up later. So let's go across to our settings file and we're now in dev. So we want to set our environment indicators in dev. Okay, and what else are we going to set? Okay, we're setting the dev split to true and we're setting the robots setting to disallow okay so let's set that we are and also the the, the warning message we're getting for is that existing robot file is not enough so we need to remove the robots so remove web robots okay and we are just want to change the settings of settings.php so we can upload it. Uh, all right, so now we should be able to upload our settings. Okay, it's uploaded. Let's clear cache uh, just to make sure. All right, so now if we go to, this should change certain things. Right, so, okay. Um, so there's our environment showing. Um, and let's go across to config setter and we should be on the dev split and we are on dev split which is fantastic so if we go and look at our modules um devil is still and devil kint is still enabled um we should still see views, yes, um, great. Performance, we should be on um, we should be on yep, that's no cache, right, uh, reporting um, logging and errors should be on all. Great, so there we go, we have um, we have uh, set up configuration for development environment and when we get to it we will set up configuration for staging and when we get there i will then uh, continue this video so thanks for watching and uh, yeah have a great day